Um, I wanted to finish the workout from yesterday. I had a bonus section, it was cardio abs. It's five second rest, 30 second work, and you have couplets, so you're gonna go back and forth. I have my Gym Boss Mini, so I can do more than one uh, variation on it. And um, I can do, uh, it'll be three rounds, but if you have the other Gym Boss, it's uh, gonna be six rounds, because you'll do five and 30, five and 30, and you'll go back and forth, because we're gonna do each exercise three times. So. I'm gonna have mine set up where it's gonna be five and 30, five and 30, and three rounds. So there's four clicks until it moves to the next one. There are eight couplets, um, so there's two exercises for each one. So there's 16 total. We're gonna go through that. And then I, um, not, I'm not gonna be able to videotape on Saturday because I have a hair appointment, yay! It's getting long, it needs cut. So I am gonna do the Saturday workout. I'm gonna film it today so that, and then I'll get it up and going after I do the cardio abs. It is um, burpees, just because I like burpees. Um, three couplets. So there's gonna be three in each group, 10 second rest, 50 second work. I will go over this one once I finish the cardio abs. Then we have a bonus butt because we haven't done butt in a while. So, every day's a butt day, right? So the breakdown will be on mycrazyworkout.com. I have a lot of equipment here. Uh, you don't have to use it all. You don't need all of this equipment. I have it because some people have sandbags, some people have kettlebells, some people have balls, some people don't have anything. They have dumbbells, or they have the steel bell. I know Nadine has that. So I'm trying to give you different variations so that if you um, have whatever you have, it can be used. I'm gonna show you how to use it and there might be a little bit of a variation on it. I can't think, cause I'm cold. So let's get started and warm me up. Uh, like I said, five second rest and then we're gonna start the work. It is a, um, we're gonna go through it before we move on to the next one. So we're gonna do all one. It's right side lunge, kick right foot front and then we're gonna do a left side plank and you're gonna reach the, you're gonna crunch the right arm under. So we're gonna hit the right side of the oblique and then in the plank, we're gonna hit the left side and then we'll switch it on uh, two. I'm gonna hold a 10 pound dumbbell. They are freezing because I left them out here because I was so mad yesterday. My videos weren't working, my camera. All righty, right side lunge. And I'll show you if you don't have any weight, and a kick front, sorry about that. Right side lunge, kick front. Side lunge, kick front. Now, when you kick front, you engage the core. As you kick up. On the second round, I'll show you if you don't have any weight. Now we're doing a left plank. And you're gonna crunch that right elbow under. Now, you can reach up and reach under, but I want you to concentrate on contracting the left oblique. So as you crunch under, your hips raise up slightly to get that elbow down. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, if you don't have a dumbbell or a weight, it'd be right side, kick front. <laughs> kick front, right side, kick front, side, kick front. You're getting that right oblique when you kick that right leg into the left hand. Okay, side plank. Contract the left oblique muscles as you roll that elbow under. We've got one more round 
on this side. And then we're going to do a left side lunge and a right plank. Woo! Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab the dumbbell for the last set. Boy, I'm having a hard time. Contract the obliques on the right side. Put this over here. Tuck under. Make sure on your side plank that your hand is lined up with the shoulder. You're pressing out of that shoulder and the weight is being distributed between the palm and the fingers. Don't sag and put that stress in the wrist. Whew. Okay. Gotta go to the left side now. Left side lunge. Kick left front. Side lunge. Kick front. And you might say, I feel like I could use some weight. Pick up a water bottle, pick up a can of soup, anything that you can hold as you do these exercises. Side lunge, kick up. down, get that right oblique, kick up, and get that left oblique. out of that shoulder. Weight is in the palm and the fingers. Don't hang on that wrist. Don't let your body sag down. One more round. Side lunge, kick up, kick up. You're getting your shoulders as well. By punching out with that weight. Okay, lift up, contract, and roll under. When I say lift out of those shoulders, I mean press out of that shoulder. Don't let your hips sag to the floor. You want to keep them raised up. Concentrate on that right oblique. Okay. 
Okay, that was exercise number two. Number three is a weighted squat to the foot. To, uh, weighted squat to the left foot, clean, and then you're gonna press over the right shoulder. And then you're gonna do a bicycle where you're gonna lay on the left side and crunch the top knee in. So, weighted squat is first. Olivia, I know you have a kettlebell. I'm gonna show with kettlebell first. Grab your kettlebell here. It's gonna be a bicep curl instead of a clean. Squat, curl, and press and twist. Squat, curl up, press and twist. Squat, curl up, press and twist. I know you can't do it clean. That's okay. It's hard to do with a kettlebell, but you can get that bicep curl in. Press and clean. Okay, I'll show you with the, down, or with the uh, sandbag the next time. Lay on that left side, crunch in and back out. Each one is working the oblique. When the, left, when the left leg comes in, you crunch the left oblique. When the right leg comes in and the elbow goes back, you crunch the right. With the sand back, it looks like this. Squat, clean, and press overhead. Squat, clean it up, press and twist. Squat, clean it up, press and twist. Squat, press, clean and twist. Squat, press, Clean and twist. Okay, Nadine, I know you have a steel bell. I'll show you with the steel bell. Next. Crunch. Pull the knees in. Contract the obliques. If this hurts your hips, put a pad or a towel underneath to lay on the hips. Okay, steel bell. Looks like this. Squat, curl, up and twist. Squat, curl, up and twist. Squat, curl, up and twist. You know, we gotta do it to the right side next, right? Squat to the right, up and twist. Squat, curl it up, press it overhead and twist. Squat, okay. Left side, crunch in and out, in and out. Your hip is the only thing on the floor beside your elbow supporting you. Keep the upper body and the feet off the floor. Hover those feet by holding those feet out. It forces you to engage the core. Oh. Oh. Okay, gotta do the right side. What didn't I do? I didn't do a, uh, I didn't do a dumbbell or a ball. So, show you with the dumbbell. Okay. Gonna squat to the right, weight to the right, and twist overhead. It's a bicep curl. If you're doing the sandbag, it's a clean. Up, flip it, and press and twist. You can use any of them. If you don't have any weight, it's okay, you can do the same motion. Reach over to the right, come up, press and twist. Lay on the right side. Crunch in and back out. Oh, I can feel that.
You might have a medicine ball. You might have a, a stability ball. Any of them will work. And it looks like this. Squat down, up, press and twist. 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 I'll do the sandbag with the clean for the last one. Up and twist. Down, up and twist. Down, oh, okay. Lay on that right side. Three. Contract the obliques. Crunch in. Okay, last one. If you have the sandbag, it's this. Down, curl up, press and twist. Down. You're going to clean it up. Down, clean up, press and twist. Down, clean up, press and twist. Down, clean up, press and twist. Last one. Lay down that right side. Crunch in. show you the second round plank hip dips if you don't want to do the ski hops if you don't want to jump and then you're going to do a T raise push up all righty so plank position press out of the chest twist down hop in engage the abdominals and then twist that hip down to the floor challenge oh. trying to get that to record three times Woo. okay if you don't want to do the hop hip dip tap right and then left Rotate your hips to the floor. Stay in a plank position. Hold that stomach in so the back rounds up slightly. Oh, T raise push ups. Make sure those hands are under the chest. Down, raise up. Down and raise up. 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 Raise up.
raise up. Raise. Raise up. Wow, one more time. Okay, I'm gonna hop it. You do whatever you want. Under the chest. Push up, side raise. Push up, side raise. Oh, don't forget to breathe. shoulder. <sighs> All right, Olivia. If you're using the kettlebell, you're going to hold it like so. You're going to side lunge left, up and twist, left, up and twist, left, up and twist, left, twist up, left, twist up. I'll show you with the sandbag next. Uh, kettlebell, dumbbell, ball, still bell, all the same. Holding it on the ends. And then we got a right side V up. You're gonna lay on the left side V up. If you wanna make it harder, you can tap and reach for the right leg, or the right foot. Reach up. Oh. Okay, if you're doing the sandbag, you wanna grip it on the ends, and you're gonna side lunge, up and a twist. Ooh. Side lunge, up and twist. Side lunge, up and twist. Side, up and twist. Press it up, twist it. Work that right oblique. Oh. 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 Wow, I can feel them. Oh. Okay, V up. You can reach your hands up, tap the toes. Just remember, contract the right oblique. Your hand, left hand is really just for support. Don't press up with it. Unless you need a little assistance, then you can press up with that hand. But if you can do it and really focus on the obliques, do as many as you can. Grab that weight. Side lunge and the twist. Side lunge, twist. Side lunge, twist. Side, twist up. Side, twist up. Side, twist up. it over on this side. Ooh. One, two. You can reach up if you want.
it's not momentum. You're concentrating on contracting those abdominal muscles. Okay, now we gotta take it to the right side. So, you know, lunge to the right and twist over the left. I'll do my sandbag. You do whatever weight you have, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Lunge out, twist up. Lunge out, twist up. Come front, then lunge, then twist. Come front, lunge, then twist. Lunge, and twist. Lunge, and twist. We're gonna do that left oblique next, so you're gonna lay on the right side. Lay down there. lunge, up and twist, side lunge, up and twist, side lunge, twist up, side lunge, twist up. side, crunch up, you can reach up, contract, left oblique, one more time on this one, crunch up, Oh, one more time. Oh, I can feel it in my hips today. Must have been from the workout yesterday. Right lunge, twist up. Right lunge, twist up. Right, twist up. Right, twist up. Right, twist up. Right. Oh. Huh. Wow. I feel heavy. Ooh. That bed feels heavy. Up. Contract. If you want to keep the hand behind your head, just don't pull with your head and your neck. The whole upper body lifts off the floor as the lower body comes up to meet in the center and contract the obliques. So don't pull with your head and your neck. If they get tired, you can leave the upper body on the ground. Okay, we have plank side toe taps. Elevation is uh, uh, optional. I've got my ubi ball here, so I'm gonna show you. I'll show you them elevated, and then I'll show I'll show you them on the floor. So we're gonna do side taps out to the side. And then for the second part, we're gonna do stay in a plank and you're gonna do leg lifts, small lifts, alternating them right and left, okay? So I'll show you whether you have a ball, whether you have a bench, whether you have a bag you can or a coffee table, you can elevate your feet. A stability ball, press out of the chest and put the weight in the palms and the fingers. Back is slightly rounded as you hold your abdominals in. Engage the core as you take your legs out to the side. 
Now, if you don't have anything to elevate your feet with, then you're on the floor, and you want to make it a little bit harder, you can pull the knee into your elbow. Single leg lift, squeeze that butt. chest. Engage that core. Okay, now if you don't have a ball and you're just on the floor, it's okay. You can either tap out to the side or you can bring your knees in. Just keep them high and contract the obliques. It's up to you. Engage that core. Heel lift. Up. Up. Lift. Lift. You decide which way you want to do it. Like I said, I apologize. 